Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Today I'm going to be talking about an email I got from uh, GoPower Electric. As you very well know, I've been complaining quite a bit about the GoPower PWM uh, charge controller slash uh, display that's uh, in my living room. And I've always said, hey, they should divide that up into two parts. Uh, charge controller. MPPT version instead of a goofy PWM and a display where the display is currently at. And apparently the folks at GoPower have been listening to me or somebody and they finally made the change. They're coming out with a new uh, MPPT charge controller plus display, just like everybody else. It only took them, you know, five years to figure that one out. Some of us are a little slower on the uptake laggards is in other words okay so this uh, person eric starling from uh, gopar said uh, to me that i asked him if i could just place that uh, display and all that stuff uh, with him and replace by pwm readily and he says uh no way jose you would need to either run a new string of wire from the roof down or remove the current pwm 30 and butt splice the wires is that legal butt splice uh, the wires together then set up the RVC 30 controller next to the battery bag it should also be noted that the upper optional digital display that can go with the RVC uh, charge controller is a lot smaller than the current PWM 30 controller you have on the wall so it'll not fit in the hole that's the story of my life so uh, sorry this is, this is the big sad part. Sorry, the MPP technology isn't easy to shoehorn into your existing setup. Doable, but there is always that hole in the wall to deal with as well. So they, he also recommended that I talk to the uh, dealership or uh, manufacturer. That's Eric Starling from Go Power. I'll leave the whole text below so you can check it out. So again, I would like to congratulate Go Power for finally, finally figuring out that their PWM uh, charge controller wasn't cutting it in uh, 2022. It wasn't cutting it in uh, 2015, but in 2022, it definitely wasn't cutting it. And so they finally split it up. They'll probably be coming out in 2023, 2024, 2025, 25, uh, these RV manufacturers, including probably Rockwell, will put the uh, charge controller uh, in the either either in the pass through to uh, protect it and then wire it to the uh, batteries on the tongue and they'll have that little display right there right there where it is right now but won't include the charge controller brilliant again it only took them uh, 15 uh, years to figure that one out big thumbs up to go power this has been a Susan Manuel Mena Garza again I'll have the links and uh, some more information about this product in the description if you have any questions. And I appreciate the other folks at GoPower getting back to me. Again, that was uh, Eric Starling. He was very straightforward with me, very honest, and saying, hey, it's not gonna work uh, readily. You have to do some butt splicing and some other peculiar sort of stuff to get things to work. You know, more work. Well, it's not just cut and paste. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Muchas gracias a todos a ustedes who I like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to leave your kind, super kind. Very, I have a very, uh, I get emotional if you're not nice to me. So be very kind and friendly and professional in leaving your comments below. And tell me what you think about the new uh, MPPT charge controller by the folks at GoPower. Wow! Amazing! Uh, please leave your kind and friendly comments below. Abajo. Muchas gracias. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. I plan to do a hell of a lot of camping this summer. How about you? I'm doing a hell of a lot of camping. A hell of a lot. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my channel. This has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.